Once you have your needle threaded, basically we're just doing what's called a running stitch along the outer edge of the rim. This is the part that goes from the top of the nose to the bottom of the chin. And I'm just staying about a half inch to five eighths inch away from the edge. So that's what I'm doing. And you just sort of weave it in and out, in and out, in and out. And then I'll show you a technique to sort of stay it in place. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now I am going to tie a knot here. I'm just going to go through the back stitch a couple times and then tie it off. And that will be my base. Here it is finished up. Now just to point out a couple of things. When you are positioning, preparing it to sew, you put right sides together and on the filter you also put the right sides together so you can tell this distinctly a right side and a wrong side and so what we're going to do now is we're going to open it up so that one filter piece and one fabric piece are together so I'll show you how that works there it is so now you know it's surprisingly that little running stitch is kind of cool look at that it's pretty pretty good there if you wanted to add another level of sort of security so that your mask will last longer, I would do this. I would do a little running stitch across the top. You also could do sort of like a little um, edge stitch where you go over and over. But I'm not going to do that because that complicates it. Um, and I'm trying to show you the easiest way to making a mask. Here I am. I'm going to do uh, another running stitch across the top. What that does is it will secure the mask in place and it will, um, this is the edge where the, I'm going to sew it on the side where the uh, seam is. So that makes sense, right? So to hold it all down and together. Okay, here it is. So it's not terrible. You use a color that sort of blends in. And I've gotten to the edge and I'm going to um, you know, again, double stitch it back here just to finish it off. Okay, and I just stitched a couple of times at the edge here in the same, same, same general location. And that's pretty much finishing it off. Next, we take the edging. It's called tape. And we basically align it to the edge here. And I'm going to do the same thing, just a stitch so that I go around the top of the mask and then again also at the bottom of the mask. Here we go. I just have to say this is super fast. Super, super, super fast. After you just do that, then I just want you to see that here I wasn't able to go all the way up and around, so I just cut it a little bit. That's what you always do. I'm going to trim it and then now I am going to use this, which is the... Um, the nose piece. I want to tell you that it's a little harder to do the nose piece by hand, but we will do our best and let me figure out how we are going to make this work as I talk to you. So hope that works for you. All right. So I'm going to take it off and then stick it over. There it is, stuck on. I'm going to trim this part off and then fold this over and sew it on. So it basically sew it into place. So I have completed the top. I do want to point out that when I stitched the top, I stitched the back to the front, but not the front to the front. And because we have sort of like a really kind of loose stitch with this running stitch, I am going to go over it and tack in some places to make sure that this has a better chance of staying together. Because if you look at this here, you'll see that, you know, it's kind of loose. So, and then I'm doing the same thing on the bottom. It'll be easier for me to stitch the front to the back on the bottom because I don't have to go over this thick um, thing. I'm also going to stitch along the edges just to make sure that this doesn't slip. It's not likely to slip because it has the glue, but, you know, just in case. This is the finished top. Again, not the most beautiful, but very functional, and it's quite secure now.
right? So I'm going I got a little extra here, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to make a pleat on the side and basically hold it in place with the thread. And that helps so that um, the cup shape of the mask can be held. Okay, now I have finished the edges. Basically, again, just a running stitch to stitch those in place and then fold it over and it's a mask. Put some elastic in. Usually I do like this so I get the kind of finished edge and I'll do that also. And I'll probably um, loop it a few times so that it can um, be nice and sturdy because this is the one part that you don't want to come out at all, right? Because then your mask is a mess. So let's see, I got some elastic somewhere. I will be right back. Finished. Edges look pretty decent. Tug, tug, tug. Looking good. Ready to be worn. That's it. Very quick. Very easy. Free if you pick up your pieces over at the Atomic Basement.